The Sutra of Perfect Enlightenment or Complete Enlightenment traditional Chinese, Yuan Jing, simplified Chinese, Yuan Jing, Pinyin, Yuan Jing, Japanese, Yuan Jing, Romaji, Engaku Kyo, Korean, Wonggyong Romaja, Wonggyong, Vietnamese, Kin Vien Zarch is a Mahayana Buddhist sutra highly esteemed by both the Wyan and Zen schools. The earliest records are in Chinese, and it is believed to be of Chinese origin, divided into twelve chapters as a series of discussions on meditation practice. This text deals with issues such as the meaning and origin of ignorance, sudden and gradual enlightenment, original Buddhahood, etc. These themes were also elucidated in The Awakening of Faith. It was intended to resolve questions regarding doctrine and meditation for the earliest practitioners of the Chan school. The most important commentary is the 9th century great exegesis on the Sutra of Complete Enlightenment by Zongmi. Topic titles Its full Chinese title, Da Fangguang Yuan Jue Shu Duo Liao Yi Jing, Da Fangguang Yuan Jue Shu Duo Luo Li Yi Jing, literally, The Great Vipulya, Corrective and Expansive, Sutra on the Perfect Enlightenment and the Sutra, Joyful Cultivation of the Thorough Understanding. Its reconstructed title in Sanskrit is Mahavipulya Purnabuddha Sutra Prasanatha Sutra. History Its translation into Chinese is traditionally attributed to Buddhatrata, an Indian or Kashmiri monk otherwise unattested in history, who translated the work from Sanskrit in 693 in the White Horse Temple of Luoyang. Some scholars, however, believe it to be Chinese in origin and written in the late 7th or early 8th century CE. It is considered a creative reformulation that assembles the teaching from the Shurangama Sutra and Awakening of Faith, which in terms are also texts whose origin has been scrutinized. <laughs> Summary The Sutra of Perfect Enlightenment is arranged in twelve chapters, plus a short introductory section. The introductory section describes the scene of the sermon and lists the major participants. The location is a state of deep meditative concentration samadhi and the participants are the Buddha and 100,000 great bodhisattvas, among whom twelve eminent bodhisattvas act as spokesmen. Each one of the twelve gets up one by one and asks the Buddha a set of questions about doctrine, practice and enlightenment. The structure of the sutra is such that the most essential and suddenistic discussions occur in the earlier chapters and the more functional and gradualistic dialogues occur later. This kind of structure reflects a motif associated with the doctrine of the Wyan school, which affirms that the Buddha delivered the abstruse Avatamsaka Sutra as his first sermon, in an effort to directly awaken those whose roots of virtue were well matured. The terminology that Zongmi and Giwa use to describe these advanced practitioners is that they possess the capacity for the teaching of sudden enlightenment, a direct awakening to the non-duality of reality, which necessarily precludes gradualist, goal-oriented practice. In the first two chapters, the chapters of Manjusri and Samantavadra, the Buddha holds very strictly to the sudden position, denying the possibility of enlightenment through gradual practice. In the third chapter he begins to allow for a bit of a gradual view, and the next several chapters become mixtures of the two. The final few chapters offer a fully gradualist perspective. Giwa's primary means of categorization of the chapters is according to the three capacities of practitioners, superior, middling and inferior. According to Giwa, the first three chapters are aimed at those of superior capacity, the next seven for those of middling capacity and the final two for those of inferior capacity. However, this method of categorization does not necessarily mean that the later chapters become gradually easier to read and understand. In fact some of the most difficult discussions come in the later chapters. Most notable in this regard is the discussion of the four traces of self, person, sentient being and life in chapter 9. Since the distinction between each of these four is extremely subtle, and the wording of the text itself is not that clear, this turns out to be one of the most difficult chapters to digest. <laughs> Notes <laughs>